Hello YouTube, Ben here with another Seed of Andromeda update video. Thanks for tuning in today. Today's update is pretty interesting. I got a lot of features in for you guys. First thing I want to show you is a really small feature. You can actually walk through leaves now and they do slow you down. And the second thing, which is right behind, <laughs> as you can see, right behind these swamp trees, is the dun -dun 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 -dun, mushroom biome. Take a look. It is very dense right now. I might decrease the size, but there's, I think, maybe, I don't know, 10 or 12 uh, different mushroom types right now. Each has their own color. Uh, right now, the color scheme is just pretty much random. Uh, if you guys think that maybe there should be different colors for these mushrooms, let me know. But basically what we have is these rare, very large mushrooms that you could hollow out and build a home out of, you know, a little treehouse kind of thing, but with mushrooms. We've got brown mushrooms, green mushrooms, blue mushrooms. Right now, as you can see, they actually glitch inside each other. Uh, that's just kind of how they generate. As they generate, they don't really care if there's another mushroom there. They just go ahead and grow. Um, so in the future, I might try to resolve those conflicts. There are a few options for us to do that. Uh, we got blue mushrooms, red mushrooms. Uh, the mushrooms can grow upside down, like inverted caps. Uh, they can have different widths of uh, the cap. They can have different uh, little slopey, curvy bottom things. They have gills. And uh, what I'm probably going to want the mushroom biome to do is to have like spore effects that fall down. And what I want it to be is a dangerous biome to go in. I know it looks all colorful and, you know, unicorn fairy, you know, land or whatever. But I want it to be dangerous. I want the spores to be poisonous. So the player is going to need to have some kind of filter mask anytime he goes anywhere near the mushroom biome. But there will be benefits to going in the mushroom biome. Uh, for instance, you can make medicines out of the little mushrooms or the uh, bigger mushrooms, their caps could give you some kind of uh, effect that makes you stronger or it could create a poison or something like that. Right now, the mushroom biome is a, is a sub-biome of the swamp biome. So you will only find the mushrooms in swamps. Uh, there, you will find no trees in the mushroom biome because the mushrooms have really deep uh, roots that basically prevent trees from growing. Uh, they kind of take over the landscape. Uh, so that's about it for the mushroom biome. Uh, we can actually make these large mushrooms bigger as long as it stays inside the voxel grid. As you can see up there at the top, we still got some room. Um, the mushrooms can pretty much be as big as we want. Uh, so you guys let me know how, just how epic you want them to be. Right now, as you can see, uh, we're just using basic tree billboards. Uh, and all these billboards are really outdated. I mean, look at the swamp <laughs> billboards. They're just, they're just completely wrong. So that'll be definitely something that needs to change. All right, so what's next? Uh, we have super speed now, which is like 7,000 something meters per second. Really fast. Okay, let me show you just some random biomes, I guess. Uh, there's a savanna over here. I can show you guys that. And this is at the base of what used to be a volcano. Uh, it's no longer the volcano biome. It's just like a big black rock um, until I actually make a volcano biome. Because uh, with the new system change, all the old stuff um, doesn't re isn't really valid anymore. So this is the savanna. I think it looks really good, especially with uh, Scuttle's textures. These look really awesome. Um, he actually has a new wood texture for me, but I don't have it for this video. And uh, while I'm talking about textures, let's also take a look at the new, we have a new TNT texture. We have nitroglycerin texture, if I can spell it right. There it is. Nitroglycerin texture. And then we have C4 texture. There we go. These are not by Scuttles. These are by Jeremy Hall. He offered to uh, provide some help uh, with textures. So he made these and I think they look really good. If you have any comments, of course, uh, feel free to comment about them. All right, so that is the savanna. Now we're going to move over this way, where the other two, I guess, larger biome updates are. Uh, we have the Blossom Grove and we have the Bonsai Forest. And I'll have to look at the change log to see if there's anything else I added. The Blossom Forest uh, is kind of inspired by, like, cherry blossom trees, you know. Uh, they look all right right now uh, they need some specific flora types because right now we're just using all of the you know generic flora here we go as you can see by the tree leaves so this is the blossom forest 
seems to be having a little bit of issues loading. As you can see by that drop down, I'll have to address those. I think it's the new uh, clipping I'm doing. So the Blossom Forest is very colorful and it has lots of plants. You can see we have these groves. This is actually not the Blossom Forest, it's the Blossom Grove. We have these like groves of different plants and uh, all these very, very pretty uh, tree colors and little crazy tree types. Um, any suggestions to make these better, let me know. Uh, if you think you could try your hand at making some 256 by 256 resolution uh, textures for some plants that you could make be, maybe come up with some plants, uh, you can definitely send them to me and we'll take a look at them. I'll run them by Scuttles and see if he likes them. And he may make modifications or use them. Um, and if you have any ideas for just new plants in general, that would also be great. Because we're really trying to diversify the flora and the trees right now. So anything you guys could send me well, would be helpful. But of course, no promises that I'm going to use it. All right, so that is the Blossom Grove. Very colorful place. And we can play. We can make lots more places like this. We want to make uh, the world look very alien and different. Man, that, that clipping is annoying. So what is next? We have a bonsai forest. Here is one right here. All right, let's drop down here. The bonsai forest is nothing special, really. It just has the special trees that are inspired by little Japanese bonsai trees. Uh, these were created by me, not Sebastian, so that's why they don't look all too great. <laughs> but this is more of a just an illustration as to what can be achieved using the new tree algorithm. Sebastian has been really working hard with a bunch of different trees. Let me fly to a temperate forest so I can show you some of the tree types that he's made. All right, so let's see. I don't actually know where a temperate forest is. This is all bonsai forest. Let's fly over here. Grassland. Let's take a look at the grassland. What does it look like? Oh. Grassland, we've probably got some of the, his new trees. Here's some deciduous trees. We have some willow trees. Um, as you can see, their roots actually kind of crawl along the ground, especially on hills. I'm actually planning on making a new root type, especially for mushrooms, that will uh, crawl along the ground like spider webs in all directions. I think that'll be useful for the alien effect. Some more willow trees. Uh, we have a lot of flora right now. Um, on, on slower computers, uh, like my laptop that I've been developing on, all of these plants can cause a problem. So I might try to do some dynamic level of detail for the plants to make it a little easier. But uh, as, as I've been adding more and more features and more and more uh, detail to the world, I've been noticing that my FPS has been just dropping on my laptop. So the minimum system specs are probably going to be higher than I originally, originally anticipated. Um, it's, it's it's definitely not going to be as easy to run as Minecraft is, but hopefully it should still run on your computer if you can run Minecraft. Anyways, what was I what was I doing before I got off on a tangent? I'm looking for grassland, grassland. I'm looking for a temperate forest. Here we go. Here's some temperate forest. So we'll fall down here. This just has a bunch of different trees, um, and it's it's not a super thick forest right now. It's pretty basic. Uh, and it's, it's kind of average in size. These trees are inspired, inspired by poplar trees. Uh, you can kind of tell if you know what a poplar tree looks like. They don't have a lot of branches and they're really bushy. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I can think of. Sebastian is currently working on some redwoods. Uh, so we can have some kind of redwood forest. Of course, they're not going to be called redwoods. They're just going to be inspired by redwoods. And let me take a quick glance at the change log. See if I missed anything. Uh, got it few bug fixes um, yep that is it okay so thanks for tuning in everybody next week I'm going on vacation starting Wednesday I'm going to Florida for a week so I'm not going to be working on the game much I am bringing my laptop so I'm not going to be doing completely nothing uh, but what I'm going to be working on is kind of a secret and it may or may not actually go in the game we'll see what happens uh, I have some big plans. I don't know if they're all going to work, but I'm just going to you know, do what I can. And if they do work, I'll make a cool video and show it to you guys. Don't expect a video next week. So the next one will probably be in two weeks. Um, I may do a video in between here and then just to uh, tide you guys over. Thank you. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you have not. Peace out, everyone.